Hello Pilates lovers, welcome back to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. In this video, we'll be doing some sacral iliac dysfunction Pilates and physical therapy to help strengthen your sacral area muscles using a basketball or any ball you have and a belt. So get your mat ready and these two simple stuff I have here for five simple exercises to help your pain. about the, the anatomy of the sacral iliac so it's these two bones fused together at the back shaped like a pear or a heart for ladies and usually the pelvic bones are made of six bones three on the left three on the right so there's also the pubic bone that holds in the front so these bones fused together are not really tight they move around for giving birth and it gets loose as time if you get injuries it's like you have a broken teeth that's not well in your gum so it's really painful when it's not aligned properly so this shape sometimes one side it is lower or rotated so if you have this problem then you have pain on your tailbone when you sit for a while or in your butt cheek difficulty walking and sometimes you can't even walk so in order for you to find out if you have this alignment, you can check it out with simple bridging techniques and you can assess from your iliac crust. This is the area where you can find if you're in the middle together with your navel area. So it's still best to see your doctor or physical therapist, but if you want to just check it out, you can do a slight bridging and then down. When you do the bridge, you activate your roots and because of the spasm on your gluteal muscles, you have a shift. So example, if my right side is higher and this is lower, I could show you some MET techniques. So when you check it like this, see, if I pretend to hike like this, then it's not aligned. So every time you walk, it's so much imbalance going on. MET is muscle energy techniques. It's a technique when you functionally position your muscles together. But of course, it's a temporary fix. You need to keep doing this every day to keep it aligned before you get out of bed. So the first one, if this is higher than your left, you bend your right, you bend your left, but the pressure is on your right forward to pull it down. So you wanna lower this. And then the left that's lower, push it on the front and hold it for five, four, Three, two, one, and let go. So while doing that, only for five seconds, and you can increase it up, up to 10, you're slowly shifting it like that. So again, hold it. If this is too much for you to handle, then you can ask your loved one to help you. So hold to the opposite. So you're gonna lower this, put underneath your knee, hold it. One, two, three, four, five, and then you feel a shift inside. If this is too hard for you to lift to 90 degrees, you can lower your legs and do beginners like this. So you're gonna position like this. You push and pull, but it's not as aggressive, but it's not as beneficial. Sometimes it's harder to shift when your feet are planted. And after doing that up to 10 reps, then you can fuse them together, you grab a ball, put the ball together and squeeze for five, four, three, two, one. So it's like you're gluing them together after you shifted it down like that. So take a deep breath, squeeze, five, four, three, two, one. And you can do that up to 10 times. So that's the second exercise. The third one, you grab a belt, and tighten it, still level, not too far apart, keep it together, and then you gently separate them. So not too aggressive, so slowly but surely, together with your breath. So inhale through your nose, pull your stomach in, engage your core muscles here, and then imagine not to pee, to do some slight kegels 
for your pelvic floor and separate your knees apart so it's not too aggressive for your sacrum and iliac area where they meet at the tail area, tailbone area. So five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So you might feel some pulling pain, just do it gently and slowly build it up up to 10 reps. So five, four, three, two, one, take a deep breath again and separate and blow. Pull your stomach in, five, four, three, two, one. That's great. So that's the third exercise. Then the fourth exercise is you can do bridging with the ball. So squeeze them together. If you don't have a ball, you can use pillows or my magic circle that I have a video you can look up. Um, you can purchase the magic circle in any stores or in Amazon online. So squeeze the ball or the magic circle or the pillow. Lift. Be careful on your knees if you're having knee pain so you don't get bruised on your knee. So slowly but surely lift and squeeze it. So when you're doing this, we're gluing them again together, making your sacrum stronger, the muscles supporting them, deep muscles, and engage your core muscles and blow. And you do that also up to 10 times. Take a deep breath, squeeze, and blow. And of course, you can use the belt to strengthen more the muscles. So this time, you're using your hip adductors, tighten the belt, hold it like that, separate it again, and bridge. So we're really gluing everything together, strengthening your core, strengthening your glutes, and down blow, and gently, because sometimes with sacral ill of dysfunction, it's hard to be functional like this. Take a deep breath, engage your core, and blow through your mouth gently. Go one vertebrae at a time. So you take a deep breath up, pull your stomach in, and slowly squeeze your butt cheeks. And slowly go down while separating this belt. Last one, take a deep breath up, and squeeze as hard as you can. And then slowly go down and blow. Whew. What the gentle core activation of your sacral area. And now, after that, you can do sideline to do some clamshell. So, when you do clamshell, you're isolating one hip area and you separate it gently. Take a deep breath, pull your stomach in, and blow. So, right now, I'm doing my left side, and my recommendation is to do both sides. So, open, take a deep breath. Pull your stomach in and warm up for 10 times. And after doing the gentle clamshell, then you can also progress by squeezing the ball sideways. So you're really gluing them together, positioning, make sure your back is in neutral, you're not in lordosis, like flat back or increase lordosis too much. Make sure it's neutral spine. So squeeze, take a deep breath, and when that's low, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one, and blow. Take a deep breath. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. A few more. Five, four, three, two, one, and you can progress by a little bit twist. Lifting your feet up, up is a little bit harder. So this is your next progression while squeezing the ball. At the same time, you can do five seconds hold up to 10 reps as well. Okay, after doing class, shall then slowly you go into your stomach. So, so lying in your stomach, sometimes it's too hard for you to extend your back like this. If you're having more pain, you can use a small, tiny pillow to support your spine to have a little bit of flexion. But if this is okay, you can start in this position and gently bend your knees, take a deep breath, and then separate them apart. So you're really doing deep internal rotators of your hips that's part of your pelvic floor area so you do that five four three two one and blow so slowly separate them take a deep breath and blow such a lovely stretch i can feel it here on my sacrum area a little bit pulling pain and blow take a deep breath and blow and do that up to 10 times. And the next progression 
is to slowly lift and blow. Inhale and blow, not too high. Just gently so you're not twisting your sacrum area and iliac area. So you feel a gentle pull, take a deep breath and blow. Do it also up to 10 times. So one breath is one motion. So inhale through your nose and blow through your mouth. And gently turn and bend again to stretch your low back area. Such a lovely stretch. And this is the progression you bend and lift. So you're really isolating one area. Do it 10 times each leg. Just a gentle lift. And Abel is sleeping now. He just had dinner. And he was so happy with his delicious dinner. He loves salmon. He's a fish dog. Take a deep breath and down. And let's go to the other leg. Do it also 10 times each leg. Take a deep breath and blow. And the progression is with your knees slightly bent and lift slowly and surely. Take a deep breath and do it 10 times also on each leg. Slowly but surely, not too fast. You take a deep breath up and down low. Inhale, so one breath is one motion. So it's not too aggressive on your sacrum and iliac area. The sacrum iliac dysfunction really causes a lot of pain and it's really hard for people with pain and you don't want to be too aggressive that causes more pain. Take a deep breath up and blow, up and blow. And slowly do a child pose to stretch that area on your low back. If you can't sit all the way through, that's fine. Because sometimes there's a lot of tightness and it's hard to, to do that. And then the more you open, the more you stretch that area. Take a deep breath and blow. And this is the last one to end our gentle Pilates. Strength training for your sacrum and iliac area muscles. Last one, take a deep breath and blow. Thanks again for watching. I'm hoping this will help your sacred ill dysfunction. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave it down below. And please like and subscribe my channel and ring the notification bell for future videos, contests just like this one. I upload videos every Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Thanks again for watching. Have a great and healthier you. Bye.